the biblical truth of our hymn. Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Fanny J. Crosby. Let me do some reading here before we get to this. Written by Fanny Crosby. It's also called Redeem. Uh, poet and hymn writer. March 24, 1820 in Brewster, New York is when she was born. At six weeks old, she caught a cold which got worse and got into her eyes. An incompetent doctor applied a poultice to her eyes that left her blind. Crosby wrote, wrote her first poem at eight years old. This would be the first of over 9,000. And at a very young age, Crosby learned the love of God at her grandmother's knee, who would have read to her from the Bible and taught her how to pray. Crosby considered a hymn writer queen, but she was 40 years old when she began to write hymns. I always wrote poetry, but the hymns. 1850 in the fall, Crosby was invited to attend revival meetings with her friend Theodore Camp, and she was hesitant. But in a dream, she describes the following, and I quote, It seemed that the sky had been cloudy for a number of days. Finally, someone came to me and said that Mr. Camp desired to see me at once. So I thought I entered the room and found him very ill. The dying Camp asked if she would meet him in heaven after his death. Yes, I will, Fanny said, God helping me. This was the response she had given her dying grandma. In a dream just before he died, can't acknowledge, remember you promised a dying man. Fanny recorded that the clouds seemed to roll from my spirit. And I woke from dream with a start. I could not forget those words. Will you remember? Will you meet me in heaven? And I thought my friend was perfectly well. I been began to consider whether I could meet him or any other acquaintance in a better land. It called to do so. She attended the camp meetings. Oh, unquote. She attended the camp meetings, which the sermons contained hellfire preaching. But we need more today. The blind poet went forward not once but twice over the course of the meeting. The elders laying hands on her. She rose up both times without getting happy. The third time, Crosby made her way to the altar on November 20th. She was anxious and frustrated. This time she was frantic. It seemed to me that the light must come then or never. The congregation began to sing Isaac Watts, Alas, did my Savior bleed. And at the fifth and last verse, Here, Lord, I give myself away. Tis all I can do. It happened. Suddenly, Fanny felt my very soul was flooded with celestial light. She leaped to her feet, shouting, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! In her ecstasy, for the first time, I realized that I had been trying to hold the world in one hand, and the Lord in the other. Redeem, we, we see as Redeem, how I love to proclaim, was written in 1882. And she is to say, quote, is there a special hymn written for my conversion experience, unquote. Fanny replied, I would write many hymns to describe the joy of salvation. But the one that stands out most to me right now is this one. She began to sing beautiful soprano voice, redeem how I love to proclaim. William J. Kirkpatrick, from whom Crosby would often team her song, provided the music for this popular hymn. And it had originally five stanzas, but the hymnals only have four. And a lot of junk that the hymnals have. Can't put a fifth one in. And embrace with her blindness, Crosby would be saying. When I get to heaven, the first face that shall see ever gladly in my sight will be my Savior. Yeah, I guess Fanny Crosby believes something. 
She saw the face of her Savior, February 12, 1915, at the age of 94. And she left piles and piles and piles of great work. So what we have here, her, her, her him. Redeemed, bought back by God through the Lord Jesus Christ. I love to proclaim it. And she wasn't silent. Look at all her hymns, worshiping, praising God, Jesus Christ. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. She didn't believe in the membership of her church. She didn't believe in the water. She didn't believe in sacraments. She didn't believe in being good. She said, I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And the Bible says, Behold the Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world. The precious blood of the Lamb without spot. Redeemed. Through his infinite mercy. Oh, yeah. Anybody can come for mercy. Any sinner can come to Jesus Christ for salvation. His child and forever I am. She believed in the adoption. She believed that when she received the Lord Jesus Christ as her Savior, she became a child of God. Through the Holy Spirit coming and dwelling in us, salvation is wrought through the blood of Jesus Christ. Redeemed, purchased his back. Redeemed and so happy in Jesus. How do you like that? People have all kinds of happiness. But many do not have the happiness of Jesus. No language my rapture can tell. She can't explain it. And it's hard to explain. We can't even fathom what's going to happen in heaven, New Jerusalem. No more pain, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more sin, no more having to think if what I'm going to say is it good or not. No more saying I'm sorry. No more repenting. How do you explain it? Next, the day I got saved, April 21st, 19th, I got up. I felt clean. I felt washed. I know that the light of his presence, and we read that in her testimony, with me does continually dwell. She says, listen, the light don't go out with God. See, that light continually, and we're going to have problems, we're going to have troubles, we're going to have situations, we're going to have all kinds of aspects, but that light is still always there. Though we may think it's darkness, and it's not. I don't, I don't understand being blind. I don't know if she could, I don't know if she could see light. But she saw the heavenly light. She's not only a child of God, not only she's going to go into heaven, she's going to dwell with the light. I think of my blessed Redeemer. How are you doing? Do you think you're a blessed Redeemer? Do you think on Him? I think of Him all day long. She had to with all these hymns she wrote. How are you doing? I sing for I cannot be silent. How's your heart doing? What do you sing? What are you rejoicing? His love is the theme of my song. And let's put an S at the end of that. All her songs. But this one. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. We love him because he first loved us. For God is love. I know I shall see a blind woman. And she's not talking about the miracle of, of having hands laid on her. She was blind her entire 90 years. She knows she's going to get a brand new body. She knows she's going to get a brand new set of eyeballs. Can you imagine what it would have been more so for us to think about that moment 
if the Lord tarries and we die, we're absent from the body and present with the Lord. Imagine that moment when we see Jesus. I mean, I've seen trees, I've seen flowers, I've seen oceans, I've, I've seen fish, I've seen lobsters, I've seen birds, I've seen all kinds of things. Fanny's never seen anything. And the first thing her eyeballs open up to, she's going to see Jesus. Or did see Jesus. Uh, that's a splendor. His beauty. The Bible says in Isaiah, there's no beauty that we should desire as a lost man. A lost man sees no beauty in Jesus Christ. A saved man will. The king of Israel. There he is. Capital K. In whose law I, I delight. She's delighting the word of God. Her grandmother would read it to her. Whose loving, lovingly guardeth my footstep. He guided her through faith. And giveth me songs, there's a plural, in the night. Oh, he gave her songs. Redeemed. Redeemed. You don't want me to sing. Redeemed. You got the point? We're redeemed. We're bought back. By the blood of the land. And we would sing that four or five times we had the, the fifth stanza. So we've already read once. Stanza one. Redeemed by the blood of the land. And then we come to the to the to the chorus and redeemed by the blood of the land. We would sing that five times. They this hymn no book four times. Five with earlier in stanza one. Six that we had the fifth stanza. Fanny Crosby's telling us not by works of salvation, it's not by water baptism, it's not by going to church, it's nothing but by the Lamb of God. Redeemed, got it? Redeemed, did you get it? One, two, three, four, five. Five times four, it's 20 times in the in the refrain, in the chorus, we sing about redeemed. And the redeemed is shown throughout the stanzas. I think we pretty much learned a lesson from Fanny Crosby. Redeemed. His child and forever I am. You don't lose that adoption. You don't lose a child. Fanny Crosby never said, well, I, 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 I hope I have it. Fanny Crosby never said, well, maybe I lost it. Fanny Crosby says, I got it. I'm keeping it. And forever God's going to settle in me. I'll never leave thee or forsake thee. No man can pluck me out of his hand. She believed in the security of her salvation being redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. 